So we know Carey Price starts the opener, and we know Roberto Luongo will go up against Austria Friday as we welcome in Sportsnet's hockey insider Chris Johnston. What we don't know is when push comes to shove who Canada's goaltender will be when it matters. Do we? Absolutely not. And, you know, I guess the, the one thing I have to wonder, does Mike Babcock already know? The coach isn't sharing very much on, on this thing. He really didn't. Or anything for that matter. Yeah, it didn't give us any real insight into what went behind the decision, what he's going to look for from these two players in this game. But what we do know is that by the, the third or fourth game of this tournament, Canada has to have its number one guy. And they're not likely to be have seen enough of these, these players being tested. I mean, the Norwegians and Austrians clearly are not very strong teams. Even the Finnish team, which, which plays them in the third game, they're, they're banged up. They're not a very good offensive team. So, you know, it's very possible that when they get to the must-win games, we won't have seen either guy really have to, to, to show much here. And, and that means it'll be up to the preconceived notions the coaching staff already had in terms of making that decision. The adversity in Vancouver came, of course, with the loss to the Americans. That doesn't appear as if it's going to happen in the preliminary rounds here in Sochi. What we do know, our specialty teams will be very vital for the Canadians and for Mike Babcock's philosophy on who will and will not play. But it's not just the scratches who are a big part of the penalty kill and power play units. Well, what's really interesting is that every player, Rash, who dresses for the games is scheduled to, to play some specialty teams. And, you know, I think it gives in particular the fourth liners an opportunity here perhaps to, to improve their stock because they're not going to play much at five on five. At least it doesn't sound like that will happen in the beginning parts of the tournament so you know if you're uh, Matt Duchesne and you dress as the 13th forward he's scheduled to be on the second power play unit so maybe you can score a goal or or make some plays that that you know if they end up having to reshuffle lines which we fully expect just because that's usually part of this process you know those guys will, will be you know at the front of the line to go up. Chris you've been around this team this entire tournament what's the temperament going into finally getting a chance to go out there we saw some of the Canadian players watching the women against the United States yeah. where's their head right now? I think it's almost relief that it's finally here sure. for these guys. I mean, and that's natural. I mean, they've been here now for a few days. They had three full practices, you know, got a little taste of the Olympics. They know their way around. I mean, it's a lovely venue here, as you can see around us. The guys can walk to the arena. It's, it's a pretty cool setup. And I think now they want their Olympic moment. You know, Carey Price in particular, you know, getting that start in the first game, he was saying, you know, I've been dreaming of this all year. I've been thinking about it. It's been in the back of my mind. Finally, it's here. Uh, and so I think that they, they want to just get their feet on the ground and really get pushing into this and you know that's probably how everyone feels even in Canada we've been debating about this for so long now let's see what happens what did Kerry Price say upon arrival in Sochi I can't believe it's finally here this is one of the highlights of my career for Chris Johnston Arash Madani Sportsnet Sochi